folks welcome back um, today as you can tell from the thumbnail we're going to be tying uh, what I like to call the double hot spot hair's ear um, just a variant off the traditional hair's ear pattern um, that I found works well I'll tie these in sizes 14s uh, and 16s for the most part you can go smaller um, but these are great for those days where it's just you know they're either eating eating big flies or kind of smaller flies and this one just does the job um, so in the vise I have a size 14 competition nymph hook um, that's accompanied by a 2.8 millimeter gold tungsten bead uh, just to help it get down a little bit more and for my thread I'm just going to be using a uh, fluorescent orange uh, in 70 denier by UTC um, super simple tie. I think it's a fantastic pattern for any beginner fly tire. Um, and also, um, it just, you know, straight up catches fish. So, uh, yeah, I hope you give this one a shot. So let's get started. We're going to just go right behind the, the bead here. And work our way back. I'm going to stop my thread just before the bend of the hook there. And for the tail, uh, I'm just using some orange yarn, and that's to this is the first hot spot. Um, so it's just kind of like a trigger, a trigger point, just to sort of gain their interest. And I just cut off a small piece, and I'm not too worried about measurements right now. So what I'm going to do is just kind of find that midway point, and with a pin trap, just lock that in place. See, so it's kind of long now, but we're going to cut that shorter. But my tag end here, I do want it to taper off, so I'm going to cut this on an angle. And I'm going to work my way to the bead and for the ribbing I'm just using some small um, I guess oval tinsel just cut off a strand here and I'm going to tie this on the near side of the fly, so the, the side facing me. Okay, now we're ready for our, our body. Uh, and for this, I'm just using some, uh, some hair's mask. Um, so I've taken it out. Uh, sort of scraped it off the mask and blended it up a bit. A couple ways to do this. You can do a dubbing loop. Um, kind of not necessary for this size, but I just I'll just dub on a a nice noodle. I'd say maybe three to four inches in length. And like all my like all my noodles, I'll keep it fairly thin and tight, which allows me, uh, you know, better control of my wraps and the taper. So I got that going. So I'm going to bring this back. Maybe a little bit more here.
there we go and now we're ready to to rib our fly um, and I'm going to counter rib it so I'm going to go in the opposite direction um, that I did my dubbing so I'm going to do a nice close one to the front of the tail here and then you can just do sort of evenly spaced wraps if you want to get technical you can you know make it thinner at the tail and then sort of open up your wraps as you get closer to the thorax area and again with this with this size being so small don't really think it's a huge factor so don't stress too much about it all right lock that off Rip off my tag again and now what I want to do is I want to build that second hot spot um, with the collar so I'm just going to uncord my thread here and I'm going to do nice slow controlled wraps until I have a collar that's pretty healthy Okay, that looks good there. And now we're ready for a whip finish. So I'm gonna cord my thread back up. I find that just gives me better control with the whip finishes. That off. Now you can see the tail's far too long for this size fly, so I'm gonna come in here pretty darn short, almost right by where that bend of the hook is. Just make a nice little nip. There we go, and now we're ready for some head cement. I like to use the, the water-based head cement. Um, it kind of just gets soaked into the threads there. These will get sort of more buggy looking in the water and as you start to fish it, um, but mix it up. I mean, I'll, I'll tie some sort of straight like this where it's not so buggy. And then sometimes I'll come in here with a brush and just kind of make them buggy to begin with. And that's for those, as we all know, that first cast is critical. And there you have it, the double hot spot hair's ear variant. Uh, so hope you give it a try. Best of luck on the water. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.